G'day, just a quick video today. I finally finished the uh, the battery mod for the uh, Super Avanti on the TD4 chassis. There we go, it all fits in there nicely. And I don't think it's going anywhere. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you saw my recent video of this, um, I moved the servo and ESC and all that's down the front. And uh, yeah, I was in the process of uh, fitting a shorty pack. So what I did there, <clears throat> naturally it's more detailed in the other video, but I had to glue the side plates on um, because I had to take out the uh, the little areas that you screw them on with. I had to take them out so the battery fits in. Um, so I glued them on with a bit of uh, JB weld. Seems to be holding up. I haven't driven it yet, but you know, just handling it, it seems pretty strong. Anyway, so what I did here, I needed a battery strap to hold it down. So out of a bit of uh, alloy that I got here, I um, <laughs> made a couple of these little uh, pieces. Don't know what you really call them. They hold the strap down. Um, yeah, just uh, cut them up and drilled a couple of holes. Now I left that lip at the back on, on each one of them. So when the strap comes around and comes up, it's kind of not so sharp on there. And, you know, hopefully it won't wear away too quick. So I threw a bit of black paint over them just so they look better. Didn't want any bright aluminium bits in there because there's really none on the car. Now on the front strap stay, or whatever you want to call it, I'm using um, 3 by 8 millimeter countersunk hex screws with nylock nuts. But on the back, I'm using 3 by 6 millimeter screws with standard nuts because the nylock nuts wouldn't fit. They're a little bit too tall and they were hitting the battery at the back because there's really not much room at the back there. Now as you can see here, I did a bit of a test fit. So basically, these little aluminium pieces just hold the strap down. And I countersunk the holes on the bottom of the chassis. Uh, pretty rough though. Had to use a, a big drill because I didn't have the right size countersink. Oh well. So they look a bit rough, but they're countersunk. <laughs> so the straps I use are just these cheap ones. I think they're HSP. Come as a set of two for about 10 bucks. Beautiful. So after the painting... I, uh, I changed the, the silver nuts that I had on the back, uh, changed them to black, and I used thread lock on the, on the rear um, nuts there, or screws. Um, didn't bother on the front because they're nylock nuts. I used the blue thread lock, not the red, so if I need to adjust the strap some way, I can still undo them a bit. <laughs> and one other thing I did was add some foam on either side of the battery there, um, on each side of the chassis. Just glued it in with a bit of shoe goo. Um, yeah, just to, you know, any bumps and whatever, stop the battery moving around. And the sponge I use there, or foam, whatever you want to call it, it's just some random foam that comes in boxes of, you know, packaging for things. So anyway, fitting the battery in is pretty simple. Just kind of slide it in under the um, prop shaft there, push it right across, and then push it down, and pull it back to the other side a little bit. And you can put the strap over the uh, over the cable as well, keep that out of the way. And I've got this little uh, zip tie at the front here that I use for holding the uh, battery wires away from the prop shaft. So I just kind of thread it through that, plug the battery in. Naturally on camera, it doesn't want to plug in too well. <laughs> and that's it. And then you can go back and tighten the strap up properly, tighten it up as much as you want. And there we go. Done. So that's how it looks when it's in. Well, pretty good, I think. Nice and neat. Yeah, I'm happy with it. And it's a lot easier to put in than the, uh, the standard issue setup with pulling this off and unscrewing these. And, uh. <laughs> and of course, getting the battery out is just the reverse of putting it in. So you unplug your wires, take your strap off, Push the battery across a bit, lift it up, and pull it out. So that's it. I think it turned out alright. Um, yeah, I have to get onto the body and stuff now. But uh, yeah, I think the, the weight and all that, I don't know, still feels pretty even. I haven't got scales or any of that magical stuff. Um, and I don't plan on racing, so for me it doesn't matter too much. But I think... Um, Moving the battery back here instead of up the guts. Um, I moved it up here. It doesn't weigh much anyway. Plus I've moved all the electronics to the front. So I think 
it'll be a good 50 50 weight anyway so yeah i'll go and get onto the body wherever that is uh it's around here somewhere <laughs> Yeah, so that's our Avanti TD4, well, Super Avanti. Um, I haven't got a TD2, but I'm pretty sure this will work on a TD2 as well. Um, in case you don't want to use a lithium polymer and stick it through the side or, or whatever. Anyway, if you got something out of the video, like the video, give it a thumb up, that'd be great. And uh, yeah, if you're new here, subscribe, that'd be awesome. And catch you next time.